Hi everyone! Welcome! <laughs> uh oh, Shadow just said, Mum, you're talking! Are you talking to me, Mummy? Meow! <laughs> Hi Ali, Alicia, Angela, Aspie, Dawn, Diane, Ev. Ev, thank you! <laughs> that was so weird, I was saying hello and next a pops up little Ev. <laughs> Look at that little heart. Thank you so much. Okay, hugs. Before we even start for uh, the lovely Ev. <laughs> Helen, Kenny, Megan, Nana, Pam, Sherry, Tanya, Taralyn, Wendy. Oh, anyone else? Anna just popped in. Angela, welcome. Anyone else I've missed? Hello, welcome. Diane, Wendy, awesome. Yeah, they are pretty worn out. Actually, the witch is driving me crazy. She just uh, goes around in circles, really. So I'm just going to take her off. But our little ghosts, I think they're cute chasing each other around. Hi, Ak. Welcome. Shadow. I'm not moving the camera today. No. I'm not. You have to sook. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Welcome. Um... <laughs> I'm just uh... all right so um we're doing I think this is the last spooktober this is from me actually until next on the weekend we're supposed to be doing a party um so I'm sure that that will be up on Epic Events at some stage. We're going to have some visitors. I'm pretty sure Shelly's going to come along and I know Emily's going to be there. And I know there's a couple of other streamers. Shell was going to pop in and I can't remember who else. There's a few others that might pop in and say hi. And we're going to do it like a Zoom chat. So I'll just share my screen and uh, we'll just have a chat, have a bit of fun. Maybe show some pictures that have been coloured. Um, yeah some fun we'll see we'll see how it goes hey <laughs> we'll see hello to everyone coming in hi ashley welcome nana welcome all right um i do know that it'll be australian time um 12 o'clock midday uh so i think that was uh the little i think everyone picked c on the thing emily so um that's what i decided to do to go with so that'll be um sunday well it's actually saturday for most of you it'll be sunday for me sunday for me in the uk and sunday for some other parts of the world but um yeah <laughs> it'll be saturday for you guys it'll be actual halloween for you guys so um i had a comment the other day about uh coloring watercolor on tan tone paper uh, I think it was ink tents I was actually using at the time, but um, I thought maybe today we would use uh, on Christine Karen's beautiful image, the Lady Witch. Um, I thought we'd use some neo colors. So, look, I have a thirty pack uh, which was gifted to me um, by someone who brought. A full pack so she'd only use them like once I think <laughs> so uh, she brought the full pack so uh, she said you want these other ones because you know you can give them a go and I'm like yeah sure so um, I've got the 30 pack and also I brought a whole heap of other uh, singles uh, for a few things so I don't know what's from the pack and what's a single now sorry I can't let you know that <laughs> I have no idea so, uh, if you would like, I uh, have a link here under Neo, exclamation mark, point, is it exclamation, po explanation point, or mark, I don't know, but anyway, here you go. <laughs> um, so the Neo Colors, Neo Colors 2, that's what I was going to say when I had that close then. Make sure it says 2. And they're water soluble because there's Neo Color One, which aren't water soluble. They're just oil, wax, crayons, um, like children's crayons, but not because obviously they're artist artist quality ones. Um, so these ones are the water soluble ones, 
Um, and I wanted to show you on tan tone paper how that looks. And um, let's hope the happy ghost follows him. <laughs> it is a mark. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You can sack me. No problems. Now, I'm using the Strathmore Tantone Mix Media Paper. I'm pretty sure this is the link for it. So I'm going to pop it up there. All right. Um, and that's this one. So this is the thicker one. Uh, this is the 300 GSM. Now, I tried some watercolour stuff on the tan tone paper, and uh, a lot of the tan tone came through when I was doing the, the blues and that, so I probably could have done them a bit darker. But um, I have used uh, the tan tone paper with the neo colours before, and it came out actually really pretty, so we're going to do that today. I'm going to use uh, some pretty, you know, purples, yellows, greens, blues, you know me. <laughs> All the same colors. Hi, Graceland. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Um, now, I've seen so many people color this image. It's so hard to uh, creatively choose your own thing when you've seen so many. Do you guys find that sometimes that um, <laughs> you don't want to copy other people and, uh, well, I don't want to. You might like to and that's fine. It helps you learn. Um, but for me, I'm like, I want to do something different. So I figured Tantone paper, watercolour, what can get any different than that? Anyway, I'm using the <laughs> Caran d'Ache palettes. Um, however, don't feel like you have to have those because... Because I have a link for those as well in case you would like to look at them. That's fine. Um, you can use something like this. This is my lid off my yogurt container. Uh, anything that's smooth, uh, shiny, you can use as a palette. Uh, you can use a piece of smooth plastic. Like this is like a, um, I don't know, hips, a uh, high impact plastic type thing. This is like a, um, I don't know what you would call this. But anyway, um, anything like this will do as well. So just so you know lid exactly Wendy good job <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right so let me just pop away my bits and pieces here and uh, also I forgot to grab my cloth out Alicia's gonna grab the colors down today so um, we'll do some sort of list for patrons Oh, my cloth needs a good wash, I think. <laughs> it's getting pretty, pretty dirty. I have a couple, actually. I've got a purple one as well. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. <laughs> I'm going to do similar colours to actually what I've used before on this paper. So uh, I'm going to use some colours from that. And, uh... Did you guys see Christine Karen's version of this? It's awesome. Awesome. And her daughter also coloured it as well. So there's a post on Instagram with uh, both of them posted up. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with my lightest colour. Uh, and I'm going to start with the clothing. So I'm thinking some yellow. Let's see if I can find my yellow. Yellow. Old yellow. Oh, hello. Light's a bit weird there. Yellow. Hello, yellow. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. And Aspie, did I say hello before? If I didn't, I'm saying it now. Ayla coloured this one too. Oh, cool, Helen. All right. Yellow. We've got some yellow. <laughs> um, I have my water here and I'm going to use some smaller brushes. Oh, 
maybe a little bit bigger for this one. Let me just find my larger ones. Oh, this will do. This is a Princeton, size three. Yeah, happy ghost. Happy ghost. I'm just going to mix some water with it. I don't know why I have two again. I did my thing through Stream Elements, Emily, and it keeps bringing up two. There's not two there, but for some reason, meow, she's here. She's a sucky butt. <laughs> All right. Let's do some yellow. Yellow. Hello, yellow. Just a nice wash of yellow. Nice. Very nice. Uh, where else would we put it? Maybe just in the hat here. Uh, I'm going to have to stay sort of zoomed out a bit because uh, of the board that I have it on at the moment. But all good. Um, Alright, let's keep going. So I'm going to put it on the skin area as well. So just where those really nice highlight areas are going to be. Just in the eyes. I kind of moved straight into it today because uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do some layers over the skin and clothes and things. So we want to try to get started straight away so that <laughs> we can get a lot of it done. Please, done. Hi, Loretta. No, I don't. Do you know why? Because they're too thick. I can't get any detail in with them, Sherry. Um, I'd have to sharpen them and I don't want to waste them. Uh, so uh, I can't get enough detail in to do it directly straight onto the page. You need, I need to lay it down on, on something first. So I get plenty out of my pencils, like my crayons. I don't want to waste them. I know that might seem silly, but for the cost of them... I'd prefer to do it this way. Um, and then, and then I know I can, uh, I can, what do I call it? Control at least what's going on the page. It's too hard to do it directly uh, on the paper. I mean, if I was doing a really large image, I think maybe, yeah, I could do that. But because the images are so tiny... Ooh, ice cream. Mm. Oil pastels are different. Um, but yeah, I'd, I couldn't... I, I yeah. Got <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Words are hard. No English today. <laughs> All right. Just going to put a bit on, actually I'm just going to do a fairly big area here because this is just our first kind of layer so we're going to get, uh, this will be the lightest colour. Just going to grab a little bit more yellow. I need tea alright. No that's okay um, Sherry. <laughs> I need tea, all right. <laughs> it's coming. Um, no, you know what? It's just been one of those weekends. I had a really sore ear on Saturday and just recovering from it yesterday. It's still a little bit tender, but better than it was. It's just something I'm going to have to uh, put up with, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> Till I get that operation. Ah, it's all right. It just knocks me around, that's all. knocks me around you know it's like having a really bad headache or migraine it takes a little bit to recover from it and uh, you can feel pretty yuck for a couple of days okay i'm just going to come down here to the hand all right 
um, maybe a little bit across the arm there. Anywhere I do that I don't want to do, uh, I can cover it up with darker colour later anyway. I think we need to add a little bit here. And uh, I think we need to add some into into the, the whatever that is she's holding. I'm going to use a little bit of a bigger brush. Ah, oh, yeah, Wendy, it could be ages. Hi, Momo, welcome. Hi, Connie, welcome. Hi, Angie, welcome, guys. Come in. Hi, Miranda. Anyone else that's popped in, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it is a cool image, this one. I'm just going to get a bit, little bit of a bigger brush. I'm going to put this... So the lovely Kenny and I have been trying for a long time to get the second um, the second ink tense palette, and uh, anyhow, I ordered it. She ordered it a couple of times from Amazon, never came. Um, <laughs> I ordered it from Amazon, waited like eight weeks and emailed them and said, nah, it's not coming. They're like, yeah, nah, it must be lost. And then guess what? I got it. <laughs> uh, Kenny did try to, in the meantime, get it again from Colt Pens, but something happened there, so uh, it didn't happen. I don't know why I put yellow back down. I don't want any more yellow. I'm done with yellow for now. <laughs> um, anyway, the ones that I cancelled finally came. So, uh... Oh, Connie, no problems. Thanks for dropping in. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. <laughs> oh, she's still here. She's just going soon. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, let's leave it at this for now. Let's move to uh, the colors that we're going to do in the hat. So the next lightest color I'm going to use in the clothes is lilac. So let me find it. Wait. Let me find it. Here it is. It's actually written in white because it's in black and you can't read it properly. But this is lilac. Lilac. All right, let's do some lilac. Just a scribble. Scribble, scribble, scribble. I'm going to use a fair bit because we've got a fair bit of clothing here. No worries, Ev. Ah, oh, I'm telling you, Sherry, it does. <laughs> Hi, Sylvie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome anyone that's popped in that I missed. Um, so, yeah, I got my um, second in ink tense palette. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Now, I'm on a bit of an angle, so look at that. The water's dripping down my palette there. Alrighty. Let's do... It looks like she's made these sections see-through. Um, the arms here and this bit here. It's like a mesh. So I'm just going to do a layer of this purple. Lilac. Just across the darker areas. There. And uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of water just to blend it out a little bit there. Just collecting the water again because I probably put a bit too much on. So it kind of comes out a little bit pink. And what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of skin tone under there as well. Ah, 
I can use all sorts of things. I can mix things if I want, but I'm just going to use the... I'm going to use a limited palette so that you can see that you don't need to get a whole heap of colours in one set to do, you know, some nice, nice colouring. So I'm going to repeat and add that down here. Kind of comes out nice and pink when it's light, doesn't it? It's very nice. Just coming to the edge of the yellow. Nello. Here in Australia, that's yellow. <laughs> Some slang. It is the most controllable, that's right. You get the most control from doing it like this. <laughs> if I was to draw on the paper, I've got less control over them. I may end up using too little or too, mo too much. So um, this way I can do light layers, heavy layers if I want, so I can make it really thick and dark, or I can make it really thin and light like we're using now. So a little bit of um, flexibility in the way that you use them this way. Also, you can mix colors on the palette as well. Just drop some water on there uh, so you can mix up some colors and you know things like that I'm gonna add a little bit of this into these darker areas but I'm thinking I might go a little bit thicker just a little bit okay I want to try and leave those lines a little bit lighter now because we've got a fair bit of the light coming in here at the front I'm going to mix a little bit more water in and uh, make that a little bit thinner there so we can see the yellow through it Alright, now the sleeves aren't see-through, but we're going to put this colour in for the light areas. Keeping a little bit of our yellow as our highlight there, so I'm not covering over all of that. I'm just leaving some of that yellow poking through. That sounded good, didn't it? Poking through. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so so you scribble <laughs> yellow. <laughs> so you yeah, you just scribble them on the palette. <laughs> or if you don't want to get a palette, you can use a, a lid like this. I'll just show you if you'd like. You can just scribble on a lid something smooth, smooth plastic, or even ceramic, like a ceramic plate. Anything like that would work. You don't have to have a palette to do it. Okay. Does that make sense? Do it off the palette as well. Alright, I've washed it off the lid now, so I'm just gonna go back to my palette a little bit and uh, do this. Lovely. We'll do those at all. Oh, I went over the bow. I don't want the bow that colour. We'll change the colour of the bow later. Just going to wash some of that off. <laughs> we'll do a different colour bow. We won't do it purple. 
Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I like the using them. I like using them the way Belinda does so much. Easy to work with. Yeah, you can mix colors too. <laughs> Watercolor pencils from Doe and, and Karen Nash. Uh, the the Neo Color twos are really pretty. They're really bright, um, but they're similar colors to what's in the the uh, Super Colors and things like that. Like. The colours are all named similar names in the Karen Dash sets. Um, and they are very similar, so that's kind of good. But I don't know, I like the way these work. They they don't come out as cloudy as the super colour, I don't think. Um... I don't know if that's... I don't know why that is, but I find these a little bit more rich. Okay. Yeah, they'll last, if you're using them like I'm using them, yeah, they'll last forever. Um, and you can collect, you don't have to buy them as a pack either. You can, I collected some colours that aren't even, I don't think are even available anymore. Um, but yeah, you can buy them individually. So this is flesh, it doesn't come in this set, I've, I've added it to it. So you can just buy individual ones and you can just buy a couple at a time. Like, you don't have to buy all of them at once, <clears throat> which is what I do. Don't buy them all at once. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. And I meant what I said. Okay, we'll do her collar. Remember, this is our lightest colour. So I have lots of layers still to do. <clears throat> the good thing about Neo Colours is they're not, um, you don't, if you go out the lines, you can reactivate it and uh, remove it. It's pretty cool. All right. Oh, night, Connie. Oh, so Karen, the the blue, the blue, um, the blue people are my mods. So they moderate chat and make sure that everybody's being good. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just sad, isn't it? No. Christine, thank you. <laughs> there she is now. We're using some Neo colors and some tan tone paper today. It doesn't matter if they dry up on the palette, you just put water to them and you they reactivate. <laughs> you can keep using it until your palette's completely clean. They keep the rebel rousers under control, Emily. <laughs> Love it. All right, we've got black. Black. I'm going to add some black. Um, if they're not permanent, they should reactivate when you wet them again, yes. But who keeps the mods under control? Nightbot. <laughs> Let's do some darker areas now. Using the black. So just coming over the purple uh, 
Master Rebel says, uh, Emily. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny has a whip for Ev. <laughs> All right, let's just add a lighter layer in the lighter sections. I was fascinated watching uh, Christine's YouTube video of the latest one that you just put up, Christine, a couple of hours ago, actually. It always fascinates me. <laughs> she uses watercolour so well. I'm just down the bottom here adding in some black mm, maybe a little bit lighter I'm just gonna add a little bit more water there make it more gray for the front actually I don't want it up there do I yep Now what we're going to do is we're going to let it dry so that we can add another layer on in that section. I'm just going to smooth off that area there. Mm. Happy cry? I'm using Neo Color 2. Leaking streamers? Are there plumbers for streamers? Yeah, they need to be a plumber. <laughs> Emily! <laughs> ah. Oh, what happened? Did you make someone cry? <laughs> Ev, what did you do? <laughs> Have you been into mischief? Hi, Ray, you're welcome. <laughs> you broke Mary. Oh, no. Was it a sad cry or happy? <laughs> I hope it was a happy one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I hope it was a happy one. <laughs> No, it needs to be a little bit darker. You've been naughty. Oh dear. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, not naughty, sweet. <laughs> you got a monster on your desk, Loretta. Cute. I had a monster sleep on me last night. She uh, wouldn't let me move. I got a sore back this morning. And you know what would happen? I'd I'd move so that she'd jump off, and then ten minutes later she was back on me again. It must have been cold last night. She's not usually like that. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. Moving on to the neck thing. What is it? A choker? Yeah, that's what it's called. Choker. <laughs> Need a little bit more black in there now. Make sure that if you add colour to the palette that is dry, uh, you don't want to add it over wet. It won't scribble on it as, as good. 
I think I'm about 15 seconds behind in my chat today. The, there's a really bad lag. Bad lag, bad lag, bad, bad lag. It's my parrot in the background. <laughs> oh, I have, that's lovely. Okay. Let's uh, go into the hat up here. Look out, Ghost is not happy. Don't worry, Happy Ghost will usually follow him. I haven't seen two sad ghosts together. They've always been a sad and a happy. It's weird, isn't it? Ev's a master happy tear maker. Oh. Are you not happy with it? Oh, don't redo it. I mean, don't throw away the last one. You know, if you're going to redo it, make sure you keep the other one as well. I'm saying that when I want to throw lots of things out that I didn't like. <laughs> I was trying to go around those little uh, beads or balls or whatever they are, but it wasn't working. I might use a white gel pen for that later. <laughs> it was not working. I could not uh, stay away from them. Alrighty. I'm going to add a really light layer of black over those uh, see-through areas. But just a light layer. Adding a little bit of the lilac again. I missed this top section here, so I'm just going to add that in. And add a little bit of black to the top of that. You're on your third attempt at the unicorn. Don't try and get it perfect. Just go all the way through and then try and redo it later. Like, you know, that's how you build up your, your knowledge. You want Neo Color 2, Debbie. Ah. Oh. I would love to have the whole set. I, I just haven't, uh, haven't done it. <laughs> Eventually. These things happen, you know, over time. Over time. Alrighty, let's add a layer on the skin. And uh, I think I'm going to start with salmon. Salmon! Not lemon, salmon. <laughs> How about we do a, a giveaway while Christine's here? Does that sound good? Now remember, if you've already entered a giveaway uh, or won a giveaway for a Spooktober event this month already with me, then uh, you guys please don't enter the code word but for everyone else uh, who would like to win their choice of image from Christine's Etsy stop does that sound good I, 
think that sounds pretty cool. What would you get? Hmm. So this was a uh, salmon. I don't know what if salmon's in that 30 set or not or if it's anyway. I'm using salmon. Yes, I did. Yes, me. I do use me's. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Hi, Isabel. Welcome. All right, so the code word is... I thought we'd make it glow. Because, you know, it's glowing. Um, and if you enter now, it automatically will enter you into the other drawers that we might be having this evening today. <laughs> it might. What was that? Don't know what that was. Noisy though. Alright, I'm going to add the salmon to the skin. Now we're going to add it to underneath the the see-through uh, areas as well. I know it seems like a mute point because we've already put colour there, but we will be able to see this through there, so it would be distorted in colour. <laughs> and adding in over all of the skin, just leaving the glow, glow areas yellow. It's quite a light colour. Oh, look at all those glows happening. <laughs> glow bugs. Look at the glow bugs go. Oh, skin colour salmon underneath there as well. And under the arm here. How are we going? Couple more minutes? Just to write the word glow. Don't forget if you already enter it now, you don't need to enter it later either. It'll automatically be included. <laughs> it will. I'm running out of salmon. I'm going to need, need to add some more on there. Let me just dry it off a little bit. Hi, Abby. Welcome, sweetie. We keep missing you. <laughs> Make sure that uh, if you haven't entered or won anything for Spooktober this month with me, Enter in the giveaway and write the word glow because you all glow with this beautiful glow of peace and love <laughs> and magic. Let's not forget magic. All of the skin covered over. We'll have to do a couple of layers because we're using tan tone paper, but that's okay. Let's do another layer of the clothing. All right, before we do that, hi Steve. Let's <laughs> let's draw it. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm rolling it now. If you haven't entered quickly, do it. You might get in in time, but you might get in for the next one anyway. I'm going to roll it. Here we go. I'm going to remember that there's like a 15 second gap. That should be long enough, right? <laughs> Here we go. Raya! Wow! Uh-oh. Did it come up? <gasps> Did that work? Uh, it was Raya and for some reason Nightbot logged out.
Okay, that was random. <laughs> that was so random. Okay, Raya, you won. Congratulations. Uh, Nightbot is not going to, is, uh, is going to be a pain today and didn't work. So glow <laughs> is the word. So we're going to have to do that word again for the next one. Bummer. But congratulations, Raya. Uh, I'm so sorry Nightbot doesn't like us today. <laughs> it literally closed, logged me out. Nightbot logged me out. All right, who there? There you go. Grumpy ghost. Nightbot. No, you're grumpy. <laughs> All right, I've got some more lilac. And this is why we need moderators. That's right. Nightbot, you're fired. Is did Raya come up? There, there she is. <laughs> Raya, if you could uh, email me. Let's see if Nightbot will work. <laughs> Let's see if Nightbot works. It's weird. That's not the first time Nightbot's been a pain in the last couple of weeks. Trust me. <laughs> there you go. There's my email. And uh, I'll send your details off to uh, Christine. And what image you pick. All right, so... <laughs> Uh, for the next giveaway, uh, we will have to write in the word again because Nightbot closed down, so bummer. All right, let's do another layer of lilac. Lilac. Sorry, I just moved down a little bit there. It's on a board, so it's hard to... It's a big board. Big board. I'm just going to keep building up until I get the uh, depths I'm looking for. Adding black and purple. Na, 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 na. I don't know why it's in my head, but it is. Have you guys seen magicians? The TV series. <laughs> oh, bye, Christine. Are you going? Who's going? Oh, no worries. Thank you. Thanks for coming at all. Fantastic. I actually was pretty slack and because my ear was sore I didn't uh, get a link and everything posted up until early this morning so I apologize I didn't really give much people much time did I <laughs> I did not Again, my luck. I'm not very adventurous, am I? Three colours we've used so far. <clears throat> Anyhow. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll work out, I'm sure. It always does. Just a light layer over those. See through sections. You can't handle the language. Atrocious. <laughs> Evil. Oh, uh, it's called the magicians. Magicians. Uh, Abby, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, evil. I haven't seen it. What's that on? Hi, Shara. 
What's what? What is evil on? I'm looking for a new one because I just finished Magicians. I actually bawled my eyes out. Well, I haven't seen season five because they haven't got it anyway yet. But I bawled my eyes out. It was so sad. Sorry, spoilers. Anyhow, <laughs> back to black. Oh, they need more than soap, Sherry. They're, but they are 25-year-olds or 23-year-olds or something like that. So it's not like they're actual teenagers. They're adults. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of drug use uh, and, um, and uh, adult themes. <laughs> Using black again. But um, I really uh, enjoyed the story of it. It kind of reminded me of an adult version of Narnia, actually. Oh, you did, Abby? I've seen it. All of it. It was good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, um, actually. <laughs> well, I didn't find it that scary, but it was uh, definitely a twister. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Had you thinking. Sorry, I made that black a little bit too watery, and uh, I want it quite dark up there. Oh, my computer just flashed. Hopefully I didn't uh, buff or anything then. Mr. Buffy, Mrs. Buffy has been around a bit lately. Just gone a little bit darker. And the, the way to go a little bit darker is to add a little less water to the palette when you're picking it up. So you make it stronger, it becomes more milky-like in consistency. And uh, when it's thin, it becomes like water. So I just made it a bit more milky so I could get some depth in there. But we can still see it's a purple hat, even though we're adding this black to it. Which is cool. Alright, need a bit more. Hi Jean! What was the evil on? You didn't tell me. What, what, is it on Stan or, or, on Stan? Okay, yep, I see. Oh, evil, okay. Oh no, Ev. I started a putting my, my study together a little bit. I made a brick wall. I made a tiled floor. <laughs> uh, that's about all I got done with my ER. I ended up sleeping and resting, watching magicians most of Saturday and yesterday. I'm just going to add quite dark in that middle I wasn't sure what I was going to do there, but I think we might do that. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I don't want to go ultra dark in that area yet, but down here I do. We've got a little bit of shadow here, so I want to try and keep that if I can. Just keeping those ribs in the top lighter so that the purple kind of comes through them, giving us a little bit of highlight. And just lightening up as we come to the front because... We've got all of this light here. And keeping it light through 
the Shia areas. All right, I think the Shia areas, I'm going to stop now with all of the other colors and we're just going to use the skin color through here again now and maybe some yellow. So that stays light. Okay, we're getting somewhere slowly. Just smoothing those lines out a little bit. All right, let's go back in with some skin. See, I don't like water brush pens, um, Debbie, so I can't, I can't comment on that one. Anyone else who uses water brush pens? I don't like them because I can't control the amount of water that comes out of them. Um, I like just using normal paint brushes. All right, let's do skin again. Some, some salmon. Salmon. Still got a little bit here, but I just added a little bit more there. Um, I have a couple of different types, mainly cheap ones. Oops, someone's giving Nani some food. Just going over everything. I just brought cheap ones from I brought an expensive one and it doesn't do any better than the cheaper one so that's my bad yeah you can't con that's what Momo just said that yeah I prefer all normal brushes um, I did try one of the felt the Caran felt felt tip brush have you guys tried that it's got a felt tip on it it just rips paper I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it either gosh I'm picky I don't know, maybe it's meant for ink or something. I don't know. But I didn't like it either. I thought maybe I could use it like a like a marker. It's got a nice felt tip on it. And, but you know, that didn't work either. Did not work. Just going over the skin again there. I'm going to add something a little bit darker into the skin now. <clears throat> um, I can't believe an hour has passed already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Time. Carmine. Carmine. Just a baby bit of carmine. I'm going to add a fair bit of water. So it's watery. I'm going to add it to the darker sections of the skin. Just softening the edges off with the water. Oh, we better put some in the lips too, hey? A bit brighter in the lips there. <laughs> all right thank you all right let's add a little bit of brown in there now maybe sanguine it's orange it's more orange brown isn't it in the same areas just made it kind of watery 
gonna miss the lips though this time and leave them pink. Starting to build up some depth in the skin. I'm kind of concentrating. I'm a little bit quieter when I concentrate. Oh my goodness. Can't shut me up any other time. No, not really. I actually don't talk much at home. I'm a quiet one. <laughs> Quietly contemplating in my own head. And then I don't hear conversations either because I'm deaf. <laughs> So yeah, I just kind of stay out of it a little bit because they laugh at me. I'll jump in and say something like, that's not what we said, mum. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that right, Alicia? <laughs> okay, I'll just shut my mouth a little bit more, Salmon. <laughs> ah, yes. I know that one, Angela. And Pam as well. I hope everything goes well. All right, back to salmon. I'm just going to do another light layer of that over everything. Just blending in some of the darker colors a little bit there. Making things smooth. It's nice. Now, by the time I finish the skin down here, the other sections seem to be dry. So we've I've done a couple of layers at once there. Um, but I think we might let that dry for a minute. I'm just going to put some more of that sanguine just into the lighter areas here where we've got our see-through material. And some more salmon over that. All right, looking good. Let's add some more carmine. Nope. Um, and I've got it um stuck down with painter's tape. Oh, I was going to show you that. This is the tape I use. It's just masking tape. It's blue because it's painter's tape, so it's supposed to be gentler. On uh, You can get purple and other colours. Like There's lots of different brands that do that kind of thing. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that carmine just into the cheek there. And the eyes. Um, most things, if you tape them down, they don't warp that much. <clears throat> Just a little bit of salmon. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've really got a frog in my throat. Definitely need that tea. Don't know where he's got to. <laughs> don't know where he's got to. <laughs> You know what? He'll come in. He's amazing. Alrighty. Let's add... 
Hmm. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Does what? Taping. Oh yeah, it does. For sure. It just holds it down while it dries. It still can be wrinkled, and, um, but it's fairly easy to just flatten it out anyway. Um, I think it's time to add... <sighs> Let's see. What do I want to do? I have a list of colours here. Um, I think I might add some yellow at the end. Let's mix a few colours. Let's do some. Alright, let's do some carmine. And some. I'm going to add carmine, lilac, um, ultramarine. If I can find it. Nope. I can't find ultramarine. Oh, here it is. Ultramarine. Mm, some yellow. So with that, oh, I've added ultramarine. It's a new colour. Alright, we're going to start with ultramarine. I'm just going to colour in these bow here. Bit of water. Little bit in her eyes there. She is getting there, I know. Very quickly. Okay, let's add some lilac. Doing a bit of a mix. We're going to do a multi coloured bow. some carmine I'm just trying to leave it so it kind of looks messy looking bit of a mix in there She got. Sure. Where's Nani? Oh, you got a special. <laughs> you spoil her. She's just too cute. <laughs> She's too cute. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hi, Cam. Tea time. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. How's it looking? She's getting there. Oh, cute. Nice. She takes a while to build up colour at the watercolour though. Yep. Nani has this cute little bone toy thing that we can't give her all the time because she just keeps chewing it to pieces. But she loves it. <laughs> so we just have to keep an eye on her when she's got it. Yeah, well, <laughs> she's, she's just holding it. She's just holding it, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> there you go, you've made Ev's day. <laughs> That's sweet. Ev's got a crush on your voice. On my voice, okay. <laughs> she goes, you can just talk, you know. <laughs> I need a little bit more aquamarine. What are you doing, honey? You're running around with that. Trying to find somewhere to hide. You're trying to bury it so we can't get it off you. Yeah. Thank you. Tea's good. Okay, I'll leave you be. Okay. Leave me be. Ha ha. <laughs> they are dad jokes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you later. Okay. Recite something. <laughs> You can read the dictionary and it'll be heaven, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dear me. Dictionary or thesaurus? Yeah, either, either. <laughs> either, either. Oh, yeah, he was making a cuppa in the kitchen. For me. For me. I like that. Let's add some yellow. No, no. Looks good. I'm going to add some yellow into these little, I think they're leaves or something like that, so. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes in a duck blur. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right, she says. <laughs> Emily, what? <laughs> All right, I've got some emerald green. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to add that into those little whatever they are there. And I think I might put this around the outside of here. Why not? Add in some green. A little bit on the thing. I'm going to put some green. I already put a little bit of blue in her eyes, the aquamarine. I'm just adding some green in there as well. Yeah, I like you. Looking good. All right. That was emerald green. Let's go darker again. Where? I don't know. Everywhere. Hang on. What color are we going to do a hair? Let's do a hair red. Orange. Yellow. Let's do it yellow. <laughs> She's like, what? Just make up your mind. Let's do yellow, orange, and vermilion. Orange vermilion. Light coloured first. Ducktails, ooh. -hoo. Some yellow. Yellow. As I said, I've used these colours before in an image on this paper and I really liked it, so I'm going with the same colours. <laughs> used to watch DuckTales. Actually can like DuckTales too. Let's do another giveaway. Let's do another giveaway. I need more yellow. More yellow. More giveaway. We're going to have to do glow again. So uh, if you did enter before, you got to re-enter. Sorry. Because Nightbot's silly. <laughs> 
Nightbot is just crazy cray cray today. So you have to re-enter if you entered before you need to re-enter again. Okay. Um, writing the word glow. If you have already won a Spooktober giveaway through me this month, then obviously you guys can just sit this one out. Already had one winner, Raya. Just making sure I'm covering all of the hair with this one first before I do any other colours. How many have I got? I've got 15. We've got quite a few in here. I haven't given away that many prizes this month. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I'm going to swap brushes and go for something a little bit smaller. Baby shark shark. <laughs> Emily, why did you do it to me? <laughs> These are... Neo colors, not something else. <laughs> Neo color two. <laughs> All right. All right, going with orange, which is kind of like a Spanish yellow kind of color. I did nothing. You did so. I never forget you singing me Baby Shark because I didn't know what it was. Man, it was funny. Loved it. <laughs> Coming over the dark areas with this one. And just coming out a little bit further into the lighter areas. Brightening them up a little bit. Still keeping our little highlight section. So we're going to try and keep some of that yellow as a bit of a glow. I'm going to need more orange than that. <laughs> Marilyn, yes. <laughs> I still need to get them too. I've only got the 30 and uh, I don't know, a couple of extras there that I've picked up randomly over time. Um, to do my swatch chart, I borrowed them off someone, the set, off the lovely Linda, actually. So I could uh, fill out my swatch chart and do conversions for people. It's looking golden. Now you have that song in your head. Oh no. Blame Emily. <laughs> Eye candy or ear candy? <laughs> it's ASMR. <laughs> Okay, I need more orange. You're innocent? No. Alright, who's ready? I'm going to draw it. Let's hope it works this time. Anyone else want to enter? Type the word glow for your chance to win your choice of image from Christine's Etsy store. And we'll do one more at the end. One more at the end. So enter, enter, enter. <laughs> She's like, glow! Robin's like, glow! <laughs> I 
Let's see if night bot will work for us this time. Not get logged out. Alright, I'm drawing it. Ready, spaghetti. <gasps> it worked! Jean! <laughs> Congratulations! Yay! If you could please email me here at this email. I need you to verify that you heard this and I've got my brush in my mouth, so. <laughs> Jean F. <laughs> are you there are you there Jean it's me B I know Raya it's, no it mustn't hate you because it picked you still <laughs> it kind of popped up and then all of a sudden it said please log in and I was like what wait don't do that to me You made it go-glitch. Go go-glitch. <laughs> yeah, right, once you're happy with your highlights, and then I'm going to go in with Vermilion. Just gonna clean this off though because oh I'm probably gonna need a little bit more vermilion than I had on my palette. I nearly put I nearly put my Neo color in my water instead of my brush. Oh there she is, Jean, email me. Did you get my email? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christine! Jean just won an image from your shop. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Doing Vermilion next. And I'm going to come into those really shadowed areas. Just, I'm going to flick my brush. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just flicking. From the shadows out to the light areas. Uh, the colour is fairly thick, so it's like a creamy kind of consistency, this one. So that uh, I can get some nice detail in here with my little brush. Adding a bit of depth in those darker areas. And just flicking out. And I keep some of that highlighted area if I can. I still have baby shark in my head now. <laughs> Hi Linda, welcome. <laughs> Thanks Christine. I'm enjoying her very much so. And as I said, I wanted to do it a little bit different. It's so hard to find the right uh, colours when you see so many around. I have to admit, I really liked the black and red version. Oh Ev, thank you. Look at that little lemon. And it's Little Lemon Heart. Peachy. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. Woohoo. <laughs> Hugs for Ev. Who wants to take my ear? Doesn't like me today. 
just take it away. <laughs> it's making weird sounds and it's got this piercing like pain in it right now. It's so much fun. <laughs> Let's just uh, even out some of those lines there and add in a little bit more. Yeah, let's go with orange, a little bit more orange. Just in a couple of those spots there. It kind of blended in together. It didn't go very neat. So just adding a little bit in there. Back to vermilion. Amazon Australia is being a poop now, is it? Oh, what a poop. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. Do you know what's annoying? Is that I ordered two... Um, Two pads of the Strathmore mixed media paper, and uh, and a book. And I still have only received one pad, which was incorrect. And uh, I'm still waiting for the others. And it said they were coming at the same time. They were ordered at the same time. Amazon's a pain sometimes. She's so pretty. She's got such a lovely face. A little bit more orange just in there. Very nice, very, very nice. You have shares in Amazon. Oh, you, you wish you had shares. Oh, thanks, Momo. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why, Ev. I don't know why. It's being silly. Silly, silly. I think I need a little bit more vermilion on the back there. This back wall here. <laughs> She's got a back wall of hair. Uh, this back section of hair here. Just darken that up a little bit. That's a bit better. It's drying off, it's lightening up as it dries off. I'm just going to darken some of those shadows. Okay, I'm going to go over all of that with yellow again with a bigger brush so I can get a larger area.
Likey, likey. How do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is it Becky's? I <laughs> likey. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we need to add something in the eyebrows there. I'm going to use a sanguine. <clears throat> sanguine. Oh, my brush is a bit big. I'm use the edge of my brush. This brush has got a nice little point on it, so it works out well. I'm going to go with a smaller brush. Thanks, Helen. Ghosty is uh, happy with it and happy with your comment. Wee! <laughs> Look at him go! Weehee! I'm gonna add some more, more, uh, what were we using again? Aquamarine. Where did it go? Doesn't like me that colour. Keeps hiding from me. Let's put it over there. I'm just gonna swap my colours around a bit here so all of the colours I've actually used are out. <laughs> so I remember. Alright, what was I doing? Eyes. <laughs> Ultramarine. Oh, a little bit too much water. Really strong and thick and creamy. I want to make it. Going into the top of the eye. Should I zoom in a little bit for that bit? I should be able to zoom in here. The only issue is it's on a board, so I can't move the board. But look, it zooms in right there. That's cool. And then we're going to add some emerald. Nice and thick and creamy. To the bottom. No, I added skin colour and yellow and everything around here. Um, I'm going to add in some sanguine. Just around. Get a little bit more depth in there. And then a little bit more carmine. Made it nice and dark this time. A bit more sanguine. Alright, now we want to blend it out. So I'm going to use the... <clears throat> what colour is it? Salmon. 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 Blend it out a little bit. Softening it off a little bit. I'm 
have any. Alright. Let's have a little bit of that chance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sanguine. I got a text message from Australia Post. Maybe it's something that I ordered yonkies ago. And uh, I'm actually going to get it today. <laughs> yeah, it's so been like that. Sanguine. Again, in these shadows. And a little bit more of the carmine. And I'm just going to blend that with the salmon again. Just off the edges there so it doesn't look quite so standoffish. But we still get a nice shadow in there. Look out, Mr. Ghost. You'll get a smack. <laughs> All right. A little bit more carmine under here. Some salmon. I think I lost that then. Let's go again. Carmine. A little bit of sanguine. We'll come back to the lips in a minute. We'll finish off this skin down here first so it's done. Okay, so we have a bit of sanguine. Bit of paper on my brush there. Going through the clothes because it's see through in that section. I think Christine does magic. We were thinking about doing one of your images, Christine, <clears throat> on my Patreon, but uh, trying to follow your video to see if we could uh, re redo <laughs> redo yours. A bit of fun. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to zoom back out because you won't be able to see otherwise. I just did some sanguine down here as well. Hmm. It dripped on my page. All right, a bit of uh, salmon again to cover. Uh, actually, no. Let's add some some uh, carmine in that. I think these colors go really well on the tan tone paper. It just sort of makes lifts things up a little bit, you know. And then again, just blending it out with the salmon. Hi, Dorothy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got like 20 minutes left. So, and uh, we have got one more giveaway too. Christine was kind enough to give us three images today. Like it, like it a lot. Just blending out over the top of all of that with the salmon.
always get people asking me what colours do you use in the skin, like with the ink tense one that I did. Um, we did that one on Patreon, but just don't, skin colours don't necessarily mean skin colours. I mean, I've used Sanguine, Salmon and Carmine of all colours <laughs> in here, so... Don't forget to add a little bit in the top here. Going to add a tiny little bit of carmine in those darker spots. A little bit of sanguine left in there. And then that. Okay, I think she's starting to look really cool. I'm getting happier and happier with the skin now. And uh, the clothing and the outfit and everything, we're going to start to build up a little bit more now. I wanted to make sure it was sort of dry before we went in with a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again. <laughs> it's a little bit of sanguine under a fringe up here. Just adding a little bit more depth there. Tiny little bit of carmine. For some reason I think I said crimson but it's carmine. So you can't English today. It's bad. Bad today. <laughs> it's bad today. <laughs> All right. Uh, what medium do I like most? <laughs> Markers. Copics. But I don't know. I really love this. Sorry, I'm also... Um, you guys are like 15, 20 seconds behind me, so I see it. And then by the time I, you know, notice it, you've already said, Hey, you're not listening to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, bit of yellow. Add some yellow back into this skin here. That might be a little bit too dark. Lighten it up a little bit. Give us our glue. Oh, now I've made it really yellow. Goodness me. <laughs> it's alright. We can fix it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> In a minute. Let's add in our glow down here. Let's just neaten up this jewel here too. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. We're going to add some up the top here as well. Add in some lilac. Some more green, a little emerald around the outside, and uh, some yellow. Gotta add yellow. edges of my clothing and bow. Just brighten it up a little bit. Thanks 
true. Hello, everybody coming in. <laughs> I'm, um, I am concentrating very hard. Uh, I want to get some more depth into these clothes. Now I'm going to use some yellow again. And I'm going to redo the yellow on the clothing. Redo all of this yellow nice and bright. All down her front there, adding that. Oh, look how look how dull that yellow on that uh, ball has got now that we've started to add more colour. Sorry, guys, off screen, didn't zoom out quite far enough, did I? It was really dull down here, but I've just added a little bit more yellow. Extending that out to the background here. All right, we need more up in the hat. salmon on the skin just blending off some of that yellow a little bit I mean I still need to keep some of it but make it more subtle there we go hmm, I like it Looks good. Her eyes look really cool. Let's add in some white into the eyes and uh, let's do the lips as well. And then I think we'll do one more layer of colour in the clothing. And I'm thinking we might not get time for much more than that because it's already 10 2. <laughs> no, it's so sad. I'm sad. Let's do the lips. I don't want it to end ever. <laughs> oh, Helen, thank you so much. Yeah, where is our carmine? Carmine, I need carmine. I've got a smaller brush and I'm going to do it quite dark. So nice creamy consistency. Just coming around these darker areas. Thank you so much for coming, Helen, and have a great rest of your weekend. Oh, oh, I went out the edge. No! <clears throat> so good. I fixed it. <laughs> and uh, just some dark colour down the bottom here. I'm just blending off those edges a bit with a bit of water. Okay. 
I think we could go darker again. So I'm gonna I'm thinking maybe we might move off carmine and add a tiny bit of lilac might help just to darken up some of those darker areas. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Starting to look good. Starting to look good. <clears throat> A little bit more carmine, which I ran out of, so I just scribble it again there. Nice and thick and creamy. That's looking a little darker, isn't it? Just blending that off a little bit. And now I think we could add a little tiny, 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 tiny bit of yellow. Just a little bit. Just in the highlight sections. Alright, and then I'm going to use some white gel pen in a minute when it dries a bit. <laughs> uh, let's give her some purple nails. Uh, going with lilac again nice and strong though like almost neat so there's only the tiniest little bit of water with it just to lift it off the palette just enough I'll zoom out a bit I'll do a couple close up here Now I'll zoom out so you can see the rest of it down here. I'm going to do another layer. Let's look at this top section here. What do we need? We need some more carmine in here. Some more blue, ultramarine. Can you do... <laughs> do you know what? I'm actually a qualified nail technician. How cool is that? <laughs> so I could do them anyway. Um, let's add a little bit more lilac. Kind of making it rainbow looking there. I think we need a little bit more blue in there too. Green. Aquamarine is a, not a very dark blue, but it's pretty. I like it. Kind of goes a little bit green where we've added the 
the yellow, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. Let's add a bit more yellow in there on the tips. The edges. Kind of looks a little bit tie-dyed, doesn't it? <laughs> it's tie-dyed. <laughs> Um, all right, now the green. Let's do some more ultramarine in there. I'm just going to clean my palette up first. Just uh, darken up some of this green. Mixing emerald with a little bit of... Uh, just grab some of the emerald off my palette and just mixing it with the ultramarine. I'm not going to be too detailed there. I just want to add it in. Adding a bit of yellow into the crystal there. So we have a little bit of highlight. All right. Now I think we're just going to do an extra dark layer of the purples just to really deepen it up and make it stand out. So I'm going to just swap palettes here. Add two. Here's one I prepared earlier. Black, lilac, and I'm actually going to mix these together. A bit more lilac. Let's do it. Let's mix them together. <sighs> nice dark purple. And we are going to do, so how many giveaways? We've done two. So we need to do one more giveaway. So make sure if you've just come in that you've written the word glow. If you haven't won something from a Spooktober stream this month yet, you can enter for your chance to win your choice of image from Christine Karen's Etsy store. Nice. Back down here. Not too much here at the front, just nice and light because I want that highlight to show mainly there. And we're running out. Doesn't matter. I like it like that. Ooh, pretty. What else have we got? We got the background, and uh, for the background, thinking. Some blues. Before we do the background though, let's add some white in. Alright, let's brighten some of these areas up. Glow, we've got a few coming in the same glow now. No, you don't need to do it again. If you've already written it, you don't need to do it again. Um, Alright, let's add some white gel pen. I'm actually not sure what this is, some sort of plant maybe on her, but I'm just going to do a couple of little spots around those circles as well. Could 
put a little bit of highlight in that gem there. Couple more minutes to add the word glow if you haven't entered already and you'd like to. Alright, finish up for today. I'm actually going to. There's like a line here. I'm just going to follow that. I might finish the ones out there after because I want to do the background. And I'll do those after I've done the background as well. There's a couple on the thing here. Hello, ghosty. Scary, spooky skeletons. I don't know why it's in my head. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, in the eyes. That actually was a bit of a slip, but that'll do. <laughs> a little bit in the lips there. Let's give her a little bit of a white tip on the nose there. On the edge of her face. <laughs> Give her a little bit of a glow, hey? Just smudge that line out so that it goes across there a bit. Alright, cool. Alright, we can't do much more until we do the background. I'm going to use Prussian Blue, Ultramarine and Royal Blue. So, Prussian Blue... Oh, that royal blue is like a real, like, purple blue. And ultramarine. Okay, here we go. I'm going to draw it. Are you ready to rumble? And rolling it. Pam! Congratulations! Yay, Pam! <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Pam, if you could email me, please. And uh, let me know which image you would like. Oh, brush wasn't wet enough then. Try that again. I've got Prussian blue, royal blue, I'm mixing them up. Some ultramarine, mixing it up a bit. Oh, you are not liking me today, Mr. Brush. <laughs> Not liking me at all. Oh, it's very hard to get it all in this camera angle. So sorry. Oh gosh, I'm going to need to do a few layers, aren't I? That's okay, we can do that. I really like that uh, royal blue. That's a pretty colour. A little bit more Prussian blue there.
Now just on the bottom here. <laughs> Pam, good job. <laughs> Just gonna come into that area. But I wanna keep that quite clear, so I'm just gonna wet my brush a bit and just lightly come around that glue. Okay, I'm going to need a smaller brush in those areas. This one's too big. And the colours have kind of all mixed in together now. Just coming around all of her super pretty. So I'm just going to continue to add in this background but I'm just going to say a big thank you to Super Chatter Ev today she's like full on give 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 and make your people cry <laughs> and uh, a big thank you to Christine for today and the giveaway prizes and congratulations to all of the giveaway winners I hope to hear from you very shortly within the next 24 hours would be nice because then you know, not everybody's waiting around and uh, and I uh, don't want it to get forgotten either because that happens too. If there's any questions anyone has, I'm going to put the colours up on, on uh, Patreon for patrons so if you want to grab what colours I used, uh, I will give you the list. I need some more of that royal blue just by itself, I think. I like it, it's pretty. <laughs> I like it I do and uh, we're going to have our party next week so um, that will be fun and uh, from November we'll start doing some some Mondays again, normal Mondays <laughs> we've had Spooktober Mondays this month but uh, we'll go back to normal Mondays, I've got a couple of product products coming um, I've got a paint by numbers from a different company. Uh, I've got, um, oh, Treasure Studio Arts or Treasure, Treasure Art Studios, uh, has got a diamond, diamond painting there I was going to do a review on. So that's cool. Real purple.
I'm going to need to redo that uh, yellow around the hat too, I think. Brighten it up a little bit. Alright, let's just, uh, before I finish off this side, I just want to add some yellow in here. And I had a little bit of orange still sitting on that palette, so I've just added a little bit of that as well. Um, Sherry, they just go in a box, honestly. <laughs> um, nothing, I don't do anything with them. I have so many now. I've got a full box load full of them. I've got a folder. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's just, that's it. That's all I do. I know I'm boring her. Oh, I do have a giveaway too to do for Australians only though. Um, we have that uh, that diamond painting, the uh, breast cancer support diamond painting from Diamond Art Club that I have there that Megan, my sister, is uh, going to post to a lucky winner in Australia. So that's another thing I've got to do as well on a Monday. In November. Lots of Mondays already booked out, hey. And uh, November, our colouring, our, our colour athon is with Monya, Monya Gate. So that's cool too. I need more colour. I'm just going to wipe this off with my colour, which I dropped on the ground. Almost done. Sorry, got a little bit extra time there. I actually really need to go to the loo. <laughs> uh, so, hmm. Probably should do that. <laughs> Probably. I might just go around and just wet that paper. It's not moving very quickly and it's taking me forever. So let's just try wetting it first. See if that's more helpful. <laughs> a little bit quicker. The colour will bleed a little bit better that way. Angie, thank you. I can hear Nani barking her head off down there. My son, it was his first day back at school again today, so he's not around to let her in and out. <laughs> he 
usually uh, welcome the distraction from his room and his school stuff to put the dog out, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I could probably do another layer of that so I might do another layer off stream and uh, and then I'm going to just actually down here I'll do that now uh, I'm just going to use that gel pen that I had a minute ago and I'm just going to go around our little thing here And I'm just going to do these are gonna stand out because it's on the white on the tan tone paper, which really stands out. Let's do a couple coming inwards as well. A little bit of a white center. <laughs> Looks a little bit like a brain, doesn't it? <laughs> a little bit. some more neo color over the top of that just let it dry a little bit first and uh, I'm gonna do some little like um, little spots and stars and things in the background here too so we'll do that it's not it's not quite dry though so this is not gonna stand out as much And I think we might even come back in with, as I said, some Neo Color yellow over the top and just yellow these sections up a little bit. Bring it in with the rest of the picture. Let's see if that's dry enough. Yellow. Likey. Don't worry about blending in that paint pen. Looks better than being really nice and bright like that. It kind of smudged off a bit then, didn't it? It's good. I like it. Don't you green up on me now, mister. No more greening. <laughs> no greening up on me. <laughs> Just going to redo my yellows. Just make them stand out a little bit more. You got to remember too, under the camera here, you're not going to be able to see the color as bright. Because I've got that glare off the lights. But, uh, I'll take a scan of it. You can have a look at it. It's actually quite pretty. Nice and bright. Anyway, I'm going to adjust it. Play with it. Put some spots all over it. Add in a little bit more yellow. A little bit more white. But um, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you so much for watching everybody have a great afternoon evening wherever you are and uh, I will see you on Friday for our last installment of our Dark Unicorn by Sarah and um, I'll see you patrons on Thursday for something new in the ink tents so uh, have a great time enjoy do your coloring pages <laughs> thank you so much again to Christine bye all